Hello friends and welcome to this new video. Today I'm going to show you a little bit about Windows 8. It's the new Windows operating system that is out and it has been given a lot of advertising lately. And uh, I think it deserves a closer look. And um, I'm just going to show you some of the basic uh, high uh, um, overview of the operating system. So first of all, I was a little bit skeptical before upgrading. I just upgraded a few days ago. And uh, but after I installed it, I started to really like it. It has a new, fresh uh, interface. It feels, it does feel like a new operating system, although it is not. It's obviously uh, a new interface on top of the already great Windows 7 operating system. With but it has several uh, perf um, improvements and additions that are totally worth upgrading to. So the first thing and the most obvious is the again is the uh, interface now the start if i press the, you press the start window or uh, this the start key sorry it will switch from this interface that is called metro tiles to the normal desktop so it's as simple as that all you have to do to go back to normal is to press the windows key so when you are back on the desktop you will see that the only thing that has changed is that there is no more start icon or start button on the to on the bottom left of the screen and right now that has been completely substituted and eliminated and now you have this style interface. So I see at the beginning I, I was I was a little bit uh, um, reluctant to this change, but now I see that it's actually cool and it's actually better. Uh, the 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 start uh, button and I see it in a way is this this new interface is like a stretch of that start uh, button interface that it was before. And everything that it was there is located here. You had different tiles, which, by the way, you can rearrange or eliminate or customize whatever you want. So if you just uh, left click any of the tiles uh, or a group of tiles, you had the option here to unpin them to the start or to even uh, other things like uninstall the application that you just selected. Uh, so it's really cool. You can even launch it as an administrator and you see the different options on the bottom. Now, the addition to this is that also you have live information being streamed to the internet through these different tiles here. And uh, again, uh, Microsoft has copied uh, the Apple um, new system or the Apple, uh, let's say, business model of creating apps. So now you have also access to a um, Microsoft Store that uh, I haven't really checked, but uh, I have read that it has very few apps yet, but I'm sure that's going to increase. Now, the apps that you have with Windows 8 are, for example, the weather. So if I click on this, you have a very beautiful display of the current weather. And you all you have to do go to go back is press the Windows key. Or you have also the stock uh, or, or app here. And this will tell you the latest stock, which, by the way, with your uh, middle, um, the scroll button of the mouse, you can just go ahead and scroll. Um, and you will get more details, news. And you can even do things like, for example, I'm going to add here and a ticker. Let's add Apple just because and click add and now you have Apple as your um, ticker here. So you can see many, many information that is displayed here. So it's really interesting and uh, it adds some kind of functionality and easiness of use to the entire system. Before, you know, you just you were just presented with the um, with the desktop and uh, you had to click everything there and it was not a lot of interaction but now with this new metro interface you do have some interaction uh, right away without having to do much so i found this to be a good addition and it, the operating system does feel refreshed it does look modern and um, that's something good you know because windows was getting a little bit old but again this was done to uh, copy the business uh, business uh, model of Apple to have a store and uh, also charge for different apps or have free apps. But all the applications that you had before, they work. Uh, some of them, though, had some problems. So you may have to update to the latest uh, application. For example, I had some problems with Camtasia Studio 7. So I had to update to a Camtasia, Camtasia Studio 8, which is working perfectly and I'm using it for this video. So you had to check on that, you know, before you update. So if you click on any of the corners here, you will be presented with this. And uh, you have settings, devices, start, share, and search. This is very convenient, you know, and uh, you can also still use the shortcuts of Windows. For, exa for example, if you press the Windows and the D, that takes you to the desktop. Or if you press the Windows key and the E, that takes you to the Explorer, okay? 
Uh, so all those shortcuts work. And uh, but again, Windows wants to use this new start interface here. Uh, for example, if I click on settings, here is where you will turn off the computer, change the volume, connect to the internet, etc., etc., etc. Now, the cool thing is also that you have several additions to Windows, uh, not just that uh, Metro interface. You have also things like the ability to mount uh, ISO files. That's something that I use all the time, you know, when you play games or when you have ISO files that you need to mount. Uh, it's something that you use all the time. So right now, if you, I'm just going to go to an ISO file right here. Uh, for example, this is an ISO file here. If I right click it, you will be presented with a uh, mount uh, option. So you can just go ahead and mount that and you will have that ISO file mounted as a virtual drive. You can confirm that by going to the uh, computers here and see that now that has been mounted. So that's pretty cool. Another addition is, if, is the task manager. If I you press Ctrl Alt Delete and you go to the task manager, now the task manager application looks a lot uh, much much more improved and has more options actually what they did is they unified many of the functions that were spread around and they put them all in the task manager for example uh, the performance um, statistics and graphs that used to be a different uh, application it has been integrated and moved into the task manager too now if i go to the startup normally the, that's where you could uh, select which applications to start or, or stop from uh, the startup of Windows. Now you can do the same, just click and enable or disable them. This used to be in the, when you type uh, MS, uh, MS config and you could change that that way, now it has moved here. Now you also have the ability to change users or disconnect users, see details of the application and the services. Again, these are all things that uh, some of them were already in the task manager, others were not. So pretty cool to have it all in one place. Uh, another thing is, uh, well, the installation of Windows was faster. I had to say, I had to report much faster than the other installations. Also, Windows is booting and closing down faster. But uh, also, there can be a little bit uh, of, of delay to go to the desktop. So it, it loads pretty fast, the, the start title Metro interface. But it does take a few more seconds to load the desktop. So, you know, still, Taking that into consideration is a faster booting and turn off times for sure. Um, other things that uh, are new is the new and improved backup and uh, restore. Uh, maybe I'm going to do another video showing you that, but just I'm going to mention some of the, the, the improvements. Another thing that is new, let's see, is the ability to uh, have different uh, monitors. So if you have different monitors installed, it's easier now to. Um, have more than one monitor connected to Windows and um, also well I mentioned already the App Store uh, the Microsoft App Store that could be you know a plus and uh, making it easier for you to find applications and uh, many other things that are included in Windows but the most uh, visible one is the Metro interface you know and it has a brand new lo look and uh, it does feel like a better and application and it does seems to be at least as fast if not faster and uh, slightly faster than windows 7 i have to report but again uh, i can't be 100 percent sure because i had a windows 7 installation that was there for a few years so it was starting to get slow so the, of course every time you install a new version a new fresh um installation of, of the very system everything goes faster but so it's at least as fast as windows 7 so that's a good thing Anyway, that's all for today. I hope you en enjoyed this uh, very high level overview of Windows 7. I may do other, uh, I mean, Windows 8, sorry. I may do other videos about it, and uh, I hope you enjoy it. Thank you.